Late on June 23rd, the Israeli Air Force conducted airstrikes on alleged Iranian-linked targets near Asuchna and Kabajabab in central Syria and near Tel Azan in the countryside of as in southern Syria. A second wave of Israeli strikes early on June 24th targeted Salamie and Asabura in the province of Hama. Syrian state media denied that the strikes had hit Iranian targets, saying that two soldiers were killed, four others injured, and some material damage had been caused by the attack. As was expected, the airstrikes took place just a few days after Hezbollah-affiliated media had released a video with threats to strike targets inside Israel in the event of an escalation. Since June the 23rd, intense fighting has been ongoing in the countryside of Idlib and the southern part of the province between Hayat Haria al-Sham, formerly the Syrian branch of al-Qaeda, and the recently formed coalition of al-Qaeda-linked groups, Far Ifbatu. The Idlib central prison area, the village of Arab Said, and the towns of Barisha, Sarmada, and Ariha were the main focal points of the confrontation. According to pro-militant sources, the fighting broke out as a result of recent tensions caused by the arrests of some members of Far Ifbatu by Hayat Tari Arsham security forces. From demands to release its members, Far Ifbatu forces moved to a direct confrontation with Hayat Tari Arsham. However, as of the morning of June 24th, they had not yet achieved any major successes in these efforts. Simultaneously, tensions grew between Hayat Tahrir al-Sham and another al-Qaeda-linked group, the Turkestan Islamic Party, in the town of Jisra al-Shukur. Turkestan Islamic Party members reportedly surrounded a local HQ of Hayat Tahrir al-Sham. Far Ithbatu and the Turkestan Islamic Party are apparently very unhappy with the recent actions of Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, which had indirectly supported the implementation of the Turkish-Russian de-escalation agreement on southern Idlib, and pressured other al-Qaeda-linked groups in the area to gain more support from Turkey. While the close cooperation with Turkey allows Hayat Tari al-Sham to increase its military and financial capabilities, the implementation of the de-escalation deal poses a direct threat to interests of smaller radical groups, such as the ones from Faiz Batu. Thus, there is a clear conflict of interest that may yet turn into a full-scale military confrontation.